Hi, I'm Nick from the Centre for Risk Analysis. So what is the situation with South Africa's internal migration and what possible political implications could this have? In this clip from a recent webinar, Gerbrand van Heerden explains South Africa's internal migration and the possible implications it could have on South Africa's political future. If you enjoyed this webinar, the full version is available to CRA subscribers. Have a look. South Africa is a country with two realities uh, geographically. You have Gauteng and the Western Cape, which are the better performing re uh, regions. This is where you can get jobs. This is where you are more likely to get uh, better access to services. And so, of course, this is going to affect or this is going to reflect in migration trends. And what we see in this graph is uh, net migration by province. And you can clearly see you can clearly see where South Africans want to live and work. Uh, between 2016 and, so these are projections, and it is projected that between 2016 and 2021, nearly a million people have migrated to Gauteng, and nearly 300,000 people have migrated to the Western Cape in those five years. During that same period, the Eastern, the Eastern Cape saw its um, uh, saw 300,000 people live, uh, leaving its borders. Uh, the Free State also saw 30,000 people leaving its borders. KwaZulu Natal saw a decline of 88,000 people. Limpopo, about 200,000 people uh, leaving that province to work in better performing regions such as neighboring Gauteng. So. The, uh, so what we see here then is that people are, uh, uh, and this, uh, when I say people, I, I generally mean skilled and, and young people looking for better opportunities, leaving poorer provinces to, um, uh, to find better opportunities in urban centers. So the key risks then that faces South Africa is the following. Um, Urbanized provinces are, will increasingly be expected to carry the burden uh, of uplifting all other provinces and uplifting the poor. Um, Gauteng and the Western Cape, for example, are already experiencing high tax burdens. Uh, Gauteng, for example, it, uh, own, uh, the province's share of the population is only 25%. Uh, but the province Gauteng con contributes 30% to the co country's economy and 50% uh, of all taxes uh, originate from Gauteng. Also, as people, uh, as we see an influx of people uh, into Gauteng and the Western Cape uh, to look for better opportunities, we're going to see um, service delivery in, uh, in those provinces as well as infrastructure coming under severe pressure. Um, also, uh, the ANC uh, is and will be uh, will will become more populist uh, as the as the party starts to lose even more power in urban centres and in a desperate attempt to remain relevant to rural voters, uh, we can expect uh, radical um, nationalisation um, policies to be uh, motivated and advocated. And as urbanized provinces um, ex uh, experience a high tax burden, experience a lot of pressure on their um, infrastructure, uh, we can see that, uh, uh, or we can expect that secessionist movements um, will gain popularity in the coming years. We already, already saw in the Western Cape um, how uh, a third of people who were surveyed last year uh, in that province uh, really uh, uh, think it's a good idea for the province to break away from South Africa, to secede from South Africa and become an independent country. If you enjoyed that, feel free to follow the link in the description for access to our 30 day free trial. If you like our content on YouTube, please subscribe and give the video a like. Until next time.